Okay, here we are looking at problem number 35 from the web work probability homework. You see that I've worked at my example out and got the conclusion here. Let's just talk over what's happening with it real quickly. Here's the idea. We've got 140 people. We're going to break them into 10 different groups. Uh, so there will be 14 different groups. Each group will take a blood sample from every individual, pull that, that sample, and then just test that sample. If no one in in that sample has a disease, then the sample, the entire sample tests okay. And so we only have to do one test for those 10 people. On the other hand, if any one of them has the disease, then the sample tests bad. And so we've got to uh, to uh, test uh, test everyone. And so we'd have to do 11 tests. So the gamble is that sometimes you will only have to do one test and sometimes you'll have to do 11 tests instead of 10. So when you think about that, it's kind of a clever clever scheme for trying to, to save expenses. Here's the idea. Let's, let's suppose that we test the 10 people and we worry about them, no one having the disease at all. Now notice up here, we had noticed that that there's a 0.05% that any individual has the disease. So that means that there's a 0.95% that they do not have the disease. And if we're testing 10 of them, 0.95 raised to the 10th power, that's the probability that no one has disease in group. No disease in group. Disease in group. Okay. That's the probability that there's no disease in the group. On the other hand, if there is some disease in the group, it'll be 1 minus that amount, 1 minus 0.95 to the 10th. That's the probability that, that at least one of them uh, has disease. OK, so here's what I did. I put the 0.95 to the 10th. That's the probability that that no one has the disease times 1 because that would be the number of tests I'd have to do if that occurred. Then I took the point, uh, the 1 minus 0.95 to the 10th, minus 1.95 to the 10th, times 11 because I'd have to do 11 tests if any of them have the disease. So I'm calculating the expected value. This much right here inside these parentheses, that much is the probability that that one uh, is is the expected number of trials that would have to make for an individual uh, group. But since there's 14 groups, I'm going to need to times that by 14. Okay, and so there's the idea. Well, I hope that makes sense.